kitty cats. Hey everybody, boy it's a lot warmer in here. Holy cow, you're out of water. Up. On the handle is covered with ice. feels pretty good it's actually about 35 degrees in here it says below free or above freezing in here so we all got water i think they'll be fine they got food and water and they'll move on hey guys just staying warm back there in the corner Looks like you guys still got plenty of hay your water buckets full and thawed out i think you guys are doing good Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So last night, um, we've got a winter storm that's kind of rolling through here. And um, last night it started snowing and it's not gonna stop snowing till about 11 o'clock tonight. So we've probably got about three inches on the ground right now and we should have six. I'm gonna guess somewhere around six by the time this is over with. So a couple days ago, I got the Alice Chalmers out of the bank barn and I got it pulled inside of here. And we're gonna use the Alice Chalmers to plow the snow off of our driveway. It's about a quarter mile long, and this is the only grader blade that I have, and it only fits the Alice Chalmers tractor. So this is a snap coupler attachment, and it only fits this tractor. It's not the new three-point hitch style. So the way this hooks up is it actually has a central point where it, it actually couples in under the tractor, and then it has two lift arms um, that, that it hitch, hooks up to also. And this is the snap coupler hitch. So I can't fit this onto the TYM tractor. It's only gonna fit on the Alice Chalmers. So I think this is a six foot, I think it's a six foot grader blade. And then it has these attachments where you can make it like about eight, 10 feet long. It gets to be pretty big blade. I've got one of the extensions. Uh, bolted onto the side. You can see this is an extension right here and that's going to help make sure the blade actually sticks out farther than the wheel on the tractor and um, It should plow the driveway just fine. I've used it before So there's a couple things I want to do to the tractor before we plow the driveway if you look at this Look at that rear wheel. You see how far that rear wheel. It's out that direction and uh, let's look at the other side. And the other side's in where I want it to be. So I've got one wheel, one rear wheel that's sticking way out and you can't really even see the, the snow plow. So I really wanna get that back in to where it's supposed to be. And this is because this is on a spin out rim and it's got a little track system and you can spin the wheel in and out to adjust 
the width of the tractor. So it's made that way to adjust the width. Some manufacturers used this style of rim to be able to, to do that. Now the problem is, I think it's stuck where it's, where it's at. So we're gonna try to work on this, this spin out rim hardware today, see if we can get this loosened up and get this wheel to shift over and get it exactly where I want it to be over closer to this fender. So these spin out rims attached to the wheel hub through these cam locks that slide over this like a track. And um, they're able to slide on this to move the tire in and out. And this cam lock right here tightens down and locks it in place. Now the problem is, is this cam lock is frozen up. They won't turn. We need to free these up so that we can get the wheel to change position. I'm gonna try the pneumatic one. I think this pneumatic impact's about worn out. It's actually starting to sound like it's supposed to. So these are only about, about a quarter of a turn to, to cam lock them. So that one should be loose now. All right. Just needed a little persuasion. So we were able to get three out of the four of these loose and we should be able to spin this now. So as this uh, rim moves inward, it's gonna go all the way until it hits this stop and then that's gonna be the exact same position that the other side's in and they should match. All right, so to get this wheel to move, I'm gonna apply the brake on the right side and then I'm gonna go backwards with the tractor and that should spin the rim the exact direction to pull it inward. So it's still a little cold in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the kerosene heater over here blowing on this to help heat the tractor up and then hopefully it'll start up. So I'm hoping that the kerosene heater will blow up underneath there and kind of heat up the oil a little bit. So the guy I bought the tractor off of told me to run straight 30 weight oil non-detergent and that's basically what I've ran in that but the problem is when it's cold like this it's like complete thick molasses I mean it, it's, it makes it very hard for the tractor to turn over and I think that's the the main reason it has trouble starting when it's cold so one of the things I do plan on doing is to change the oil and put probably like a 10w30 in the tractor it'll be a lot more viscous and should turn over in cold weather better All right, I'll let that warm up for about 20 minutes. See what happens. Well, still not wanting to start, but you can tell it turns over way faster. I don't know if you can tell that. Come on.
All right, that looks a lot better. The wheel's closer to the fender now, at least. And you can see the blade sticking out past the wheel. So it's exactly what I want. And uh, that should match the other side. So we'll come around here. And that should be fairly close to the same look on this side. So we got the wheel to move inward and it came up against that stop and it's right where we want it to be. So we're just gonna go ahead and tighten these cam locks back down. And this one over here is the one we couldn't loosen up. I think we'll just leave that and uh, we'll fix that another day. So the next thing I want to do is I want to work on the blade real quick. All these bolts are loose holding this attachment or this, you know, extension on here. So we're going to get this all tightened up. I'm going to lay it on the floor so that these are even and we'll tighten that up. We'll go ahead and put some lock washers on here. Hopefully this won't loosen up. Well, well, I think these two, I'm just going to cut those out and put new bolts in. All right, we've got the, the spin out rims. We've got them actually spun in so that they're in the right spot. We've got the grater blade nice and straight. Got the bolts all tightened up in there. So I think everything's ready to plow snow with the Alice Chalmers. So our driveway is about a quarter mile long. So it's a little bit of a job to get it plowed. And uh, I don't have chains for the tires. And I'm sure that would help because this is a two wheel drive tractor. So it will have the tendency to want to spin the wheels on you. But as long as the snow isn't too deep, as long as we don't get more than six inches, I think we're going to be fine. All right, we'll go ahead outside to see how everything's looking. Well, the dogs, we can't get them to stay inside. I try to get them to come in with me in the garage, and then they just keep going back out their doggy door, and they, they want to stay out here in the snow. I don't know. They're crazy. I wouldn't want to be out here. With the wind blowing, it's a little hard to tell really what the true snowfall is. I mean, look at the picnic table. There's nothing on it. You can see around the fire pit, it looks to be about three, four inches deep right there. It's a little hard to tell what the true depth is around here. So I'll be honest with you, it's pretty nasty out here today with the wind blowing and the snow. And when you plow with the Alice Traumers, you're going to be right out there in it. I'd rather wait for a better day. I'm thinking tomorrow is going to be better. I'm going to check the weather real quick. I know it's not going to snow tomorrow. See if it's going to be windy or not. So right now it is 21 degrees Fahrenheit outside, but it feels like five with the wind chill. And tomorrow's weather is pretty much about the same. It's 22 degrees, still going to feel like five. So it's going to be fairly windy tomorrow as well. But at least it's not going to be snowing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait till it's done snowing tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll get up and we'll, we'll just spend the day cleaning up all the snow, plowing the driveway, getting everything cleaned up as best we can. And that's what we'll end up doing tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna guess this video is gonna be a little bit shorter than most of my videos. Just getting the tractor ready, checking on the animals. And uh, it's kind of a miserable day. I'm gonna spend the rest of it inside. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.